And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Come on, everybody. Here we go. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Oh, boys! I'm back! Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Film Box Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Souza. I'm joined by the crew is back, back again, Shady's back, tell a friend, Sam's here, and Connor's here, too. How you guys doing? You have definitely not used that line before. Nope, definitely haven't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like how uh, your enthusiasm tailed off when you're like, Sam's back. Yeah. Hey, Connor's back too. Well, because you you were here last week. It's not a triumphant return. I get it. I get it. You're tired of me. <laughs> right, Connor. Well, Connor's that was too. a great that was a great time to let all you know that me and Connor are actually starting our own podcast. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's actually called the Cut Film Podcast. <laughs> without aaron yeah i've been excommunicated from my own podcast um all right well we got a, a fun episode today we're gonna be talking about disney movies disney animated movies uh so last week we started a, a, a kind of a disney animated month uh theme or not a disney it was just like an animated movie month theme so what are you trying to say what are you trying to say what I'm trying to say is that we're going to be tier listing a whole bunch of animated movies this month. Last week, we did Pixar. This week, we're doing Disney animated movies. And there's a lot of them, so strap in. <laughs> um, and also, I, I need to point out, I'm wearing a Pizza Planet shirt one week late because we did Pixar last week. And I missed, my, I missed the boat. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. Uh, Next week, we're going to be doing um, DreamWorks movies. And then to finish it out, we're going to be doing Studio Ghibli. My favorite stu studio, <laughs> Studio Ghibli. Uh, no, stu Studio Ghibli uh, movies, which we all need to watch a bunch of those, but that's okay. Um, but before we do all that, we got to talk about what we've been watching lately. Boys, who wants to kick us off? I'll go. You can like it as usual. Okay. Don't sound yeah, so longer. depressed. So last time I was on, um, it was around this Halloween. Mm -hmm. So of course I had to watch It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Mm. On Halloween. On, all, on Halloween? On, wait, on what? On Halloween. You said on Holly one. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. <laughs> you did. Run it back. <laughs> run it. Run back the tape. We're recording. Obviously, you'll hear very clearly that you said on Holly one. <laughs> uh, I'm happy it's not that, me this time. That's OK. I also watched uh, Hocus Pocus. Mm. Um, and then this weekend, I, I, I just wanted to knock some stuff off my. Uh, my watch list. So I watched The Legend of Tarzan and Gods of Egypt. Yeah. Quick question. Uh, why? Uh, Why were they on your watch list? <laughs> yeah, I had to knock some things I, off the <laughs> off the watch list here. I uh, I watched movies I've seen before, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, just the vault, the the uh, prestigious watch list. Yeah, he cracked yeah, open the your, vault uh, for that one. <laughs> I see you enjoyed my uh, my uh, review on Legend of Tarzan, Connor. It was more so the fact that you just watched <laughs> the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i actually need to go see what your review is hold on how do i get to you but that is all i watched since the last time i was on and i am drinking a good old iced tea plus lemonade it's even worse <laughs> nice there's not, nothing to balance out the palate just <laughs> just dog shit <laughs> <laughs> um all right uh i have only seen two movies uh, but we also recorded the last one on a Saturday. We're recording this one on Thursday. So, and it, I've been very busy. But I had the chance to see two movies. Um, I watched The Wild Robot for the first time. And that was amazing. And I continued my streak of movies that were at least four stars. Um, 
because this one is a four and a half for me. It was really awesome. I loved it so much. Such a good story, um, and and really well acted. Uh, so that was that was great. And then I had my first real stinker in a while, guys. A a real a right ripe stinker, <laughs> and it was Joker Folia Dew. Folia poo. More he, like. he, it was, I mean, oh, real stinker. It was a real, it was ripe. That's how stinky it was. It was like, you, was like you, you, you get a whiff and it's like, whoa, shit. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Um, no, that was, and that's it. So, yeah, don't, don't go see Joker, but go see the wild road robot. Wild robot's awesome. And, uh, I've got, let's just, uh, I've got water from my new water fountain thing. Nice. Water cooler. Um, All right, Connor, let's just, uh, just yeah. uh, ramble these off. Uh. <laughs> no, it, ever since October ended, kind of calming it down, kind of just doing uh, the watch list, but, and some new releases. Except, I did forget to mention last week, I did watch Bone Tomahawk. Uh, nice, pleasant western, uh, you know, watching dudes get just hacked in half. Uh, watch Conclave with my dad. Uh, mm. That's a very good movie. Uh, my dad literally was like clutching his pearls at the end, so that was really fucking funny. Um, um, on on a scale of one to dad, how dad of a movie is it? You know, going in, I thought it would be a, a pretty dad movie, but it it really isn't. Like, Interesting. It's, it's pretty good. Like it's yeah. it's like a political thriller. Mm -hmm. I love that. Which is kind of awesome. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Uh then I watched The Shadow Strays on Netflix. Really good high octane uh, action flick. Um, then we went on the other end of the spectrum and we watched Time Cut, a really shitty horror movie they just made. <laughs> uh, man, that that. I mean, I, it has your favorite thing in it. Yeah, time travel. Um, which I. It, Literally, as soon as uh, they found the time machine, that's when I put my one-star review on it. Uh, <laughs> and, and my review on Letterboxd is, this is, might be the first time I'm giving a score before I even get halfway through the movie. That's crazy. Yeah, it's bad. Mm. So, uh, today, kind of, I uh, wanted to balance it out. So, I had a little Paul Newman day. So, I watched The Color of Money. Mm-hmm. Great Scorsese piece. Uh, Tom Cruise, really great. Uh, took a little pause from Paul Newman, watched Terrifier 3 again. Um, Why? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I wanted to. Okay. Um, but then I watched The Verdict. Uh, that's a really good like court procedural, if you're into that. Um. He's very good in that one too, so that's all I watched. Mm -hmm. I, and I got the good old Diet Dr Pepper. Very nice, very very nice. Good choice. Uh, all right. So before we get into this tier list, and before we we have one other thing that we just want to touch on quick. I just I think it behooves me or us to say to talk at least very briefly in a broad sense about everything that's gone on this week. Obviously, there was a big election in the U.S. And I'm not going to get into it politically because people have their own opinions and that's that's what it is. But I just have seen so many people either on one way or the other online, especially feeling a very extreme feelings, I think, on one end or the other. And it, it kind of came to me the other day. It's like, you know, no matter how you feel or no matter, you know, if you think that what the outcome of the election is great or it's not we're all people and we still need to learn to be together and be one people in this country and if there's one thing that i've seen throughout 
this whole process is that there's still so much division in this country that I'm hoping that we can come together and, and become better and become more one through. But also, we do stuff like this. You know, the our, our process doesn't stop. We're still going to see movies. We're still doing the podcast. We're still writing. And I think a lot of it, too, is because, you know, we we love it and so it's this is a time too for people to come and 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 enjoy the things that you love and and find solace in that too so just you know on a brief on a broad spectrum acknowledging every all of all of that i mean it's not it's a very it was a very important week in america so i just wanted to just on a broad level uh put that out there now we can talk about what's pissing your gears <laughs> it's also been a pretty important week in our uh, good old Lucasfilm uh, mm. studios. What a transition. Uh, <laughs> um, for those As a first order know, of business in the Trump presidency. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those who don't know um, Star Wars, uh, first of all, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> uh, second of all, it actually, I think it was just confirmed today, this mm. morning. Um, that Lucasfilms has signed on Simon Kinberg to write and produce episode 10, 11, and 12 of the Skywalker saga. Um, Kinberg is, you know, he's done a lot. Um, you know, he's mainly in the uh, X-Men universe. Um, and it looks like he worked on some Star Wars Rebels episodes. Um but a lot of the uh, X-Men First Class, Apocalypse, Days of Future Past, Deadpool, Wolverine, stuff like that, um, as well as uh, other uh, one-offs like The Martian and stuff like that. Um, he's just uh, signed on to do episodes 10 through 11. Um, Aaron, how do you feel about this? This shit sucks, man. <laughs> like, I don't get it. We had this whole big hurrah about it, about episode nine being the end and spoiler alert, rise of Skywalker sucks chunks. It's so bad. And that was it, you know? And now they're like, well, wait a minute. First they say, let's do the, let's do another movie about Ray. Okay, sure. Whatever, man. And now it's like, Hey, Maybe th maybe three more. And it's like, guys, <laughs> why? I, Snoke's going to come back in this one. <laughs> now, I'm obviously not. I'm not the Star Wars guy here. Mm. I know that. Nah. But. <laughs> sounds. Like when they did the Halloween trilogy. And. They announced a trilogy that didn't really need to be happening. And they got way too far over their skis. And they just had no plan. They didn't have the best people in place to execute the non-existent plan. And as a result, fans got very upset. Mm-hmm. Or maybe not very upset, but they were very divided on the, the end result. Yeah, I think the key difference here is that this would just be m most likely another continuation of the saga. Whereas it to be to put it similar to Halloween, it would be like if they if they said, OK, new new trilogy, guys, we're doing episode 10, 11 and 12. But these are going to eliminate the originals from the canon and. There are strict sequels to the prequels, which I mean, it's not really what they're doing. I don't think, but the alternative is not much better to be honest. Cause it's like, here's this, this story and Lucas films or Disney. I really is what it is, is obsessed with the Skywalker saga, that timeline of things. And why just, just leave it alone. It's like, it's like going back into uh, you can compare it to like Lord of the Rings, right? Mm. So like they're not making like Lord of the Rings, like additional Lord of the Rings movies. Like yeah, they yet. the Hobbit, but that yet, yet. <laughs> um, who knows? But like 
but it's like they're not continuing the original three you know yeah they mm-hmm. made the hobbit trilogy but that was like you know 60 years prior it was all right and then they just made the rings of power which is a f- several hundred years earlier kind of like that yeah like if i think the- i think with th- with this like if they're gonna keep one producer uh kinberg on i i, I like that better than what they did with the sequels, like have three different, uh, two different producers, uh, directors and stuff. Mm-hmm. But give him his own trilogy. Have him, yeah, right. Do, have him do whatever he wants. You know, there's so much of Star Wars that has not been explored, besides in like the Legends books and stuff like that, and the games, mm-hmm. like, like the Old Republic and you know hyperspace wars, the, the stuff yeah. like that. The, you know, there's so many stories to be explored outside of the Skywalker saga. But as soon as you say. 10, 11, and 12, you're attaching yourself to this one particular time period. Exactly. And it's like, there's no need to go back to that. It's just confusing to me why they would just continually do that. Other than they know it's going to make money. They know it's going to make money. I don't know. I don't know. Stupid. But it is what it is. Yeah. Unfortunately. As bad as the movies ended up being, they were... Like billion dollar movies. That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Speaking um, of Disney, we can uh yeah. segue into uh <laughs> Wow, what a we segue. Got some great segues. We got some great segues. See what happens when Call Sam's back. us Paul Blart. Because <laughs> we're riding those segues. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where I went with it. All right, let's do the tier list. We're we're like I said, we're at the top. We're doing Disney animated movies. So, uh there's a there's a bunch. Some of them I'm sure will be sort of rapid fire. Um and we don't have the names of the tiers <laughs> this time. Ah. Uh, but that's okay. We got pee pee poop poo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could definitely just uh <laughs> But that's green and not red. It needs to be red. It needs to be a red, red shit. A, a bloody shit. You, I mean, some poop is green. Uh, <laughs> right. That that's one is real concerning. Hmm. Oh well, if you ever see a stream of uh, Valorant, you you would know what my uh, my username is. So. I, I thought you were um, gonna say if you ever watch a stream. Uh, you you know what some green <laughs> shit looks like. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Connor, you did also switch good and watchable. I, I I must say. You know, it's fine. Yeah, this works. The good. <laughs> so better, our. <laughs> we could we could workshop this on the fly if we got better names. No, I don't. Maybe like watchable instead of watchable. It's like I'm gonna wreck it. And then, oh, wait, 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 wait. What if, what if that was, oh, oh, nice. I like that. What if, uh, what if that second to last one was let it go? And then we did like, I'm going to wreck it as like, is that a good thing? (laughs) I mean, it can't be both. (laughs) I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> um, we definitely, yeah, we definitely should have uh, thought about this. Let's uh, see. <laughs> uh, great is I can go the distance. There we go. This is this is our process. Rapid fire, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then just the good tier. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what. Where can we fit a wrong lever, Kronk? Oh. Instead of let it go, wrong lever? Yeah. Kronk. I got fat fingers. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Okay, and then good could just be B. B okay. All right. So our tiers, top to bottom. 
I just can't wait to be king. <laughs> I can go the distance. Yikes. <laughs> B. Wrong lever cry. <laughs> pee, 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 pee. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Uh, tears. Just can't wait to be king. I can go to the distance. B. <laughs> B. Oh my god. All right. Let's start this off on a hot note. We got Ralph breaks the internet. I haven't not seen as, it. Not as good as the first one. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It is, uh, it is all right. It's not bad. I'm going to be. Eh. I was just putting it here just so I can move it into the. No, uh, I yeah. think I, I still think I still think that that's a good spot for it. I think that's a good spot. We might move it later, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's a solid baseline of yeah. like Ralph breaks the internet is is not bad, but it's not good. It's just yeah. B. Just fine. <laughs> Just fine. All right. Next. Zootopia. Zootopia is great. It's amazing. Zootopia's, yeah, Zootopia is definitely one of the better ones they've made. I love Zootopia, man. I just, it's just so good. I really wish people weren't so weird about it, though. How so? People make like weird fetish stuff with this. That's um, I did not know that. That's weird. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's something I probably shouldn't have said, but or you should. You should. I just didn't it. need to know that. Yeah, if I know it, either. you guys have to know it. <laughs> Look, is uh, you're telling me that Judy Hops is out there right right now, hopping around? Oh, there she is. I don't explore it. I just know that if. <laughs> I know that it is a hot button topic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm inclined to put this one top tier. Yeah, yeah oh I yeah, think for sure. King. I just can't. Top right. Nope. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got 101 Dalmatians. This is a good one. It is very good. I used to have I, nightmares about Cruella. Thank yeah. you. Me too. I this Horrifying. movie scared the shit out of me, and I never wanted to watch it because of that when I was a child. This and the live action one always horrified me. I think the live action one more so, but even this one did scare me. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, why do you want to kill them dogs? I know. Like, what a bitch. <laughs> um, where would we put it? I'm good with second tier. I can go the distance with this. I can go the distance with I the dogs. I can go the distance. I'm out. What? I don't like that phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> first Zootopia. First Judy Hops and now then fucking. The then fucking. Dog. I'm falling apart. <laughs> So we've right. only done three movies. All right, can we just real quick go back to uh to to Zootopia because I need to I need to play this. There we go. That's gonna happen gonna... every time we put something in that tier. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, Aladdin. Oh man. All right, great. I got to show on great. on the the video on the video. Do you have the um, picture? It's on my Instagram. Is it still really? Oh yeah. So back in high school, Sam and I and our friends, two of our friends, dressed up as characters from Aladdin, be because. Actually, Connor, I want you to guess who was I and who was Sam. We talked about this before. You did. Okay. Um, Sam. Sam was Jafar. Mm. If I'm not mistaken. Mm. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you were Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I used to get called Aladdin a lot. And it's cruel. It's cruel in school because I went to a very white rural school. And I was one of the only people that wasn't like pale white. And I, I, I'll admit, I look a little like that. Like I come from that area. And so I would get called Aladdin because of that. <laughs> but I just will show this on video. Please focus. Please focus. <laughs> Please focus. Autofocus. Come oh, on. That's great. But yeah. So I will post this on social media. But yes, I think just for that, this has to go in the top tier. Plus, <laughs> plus Robin Williams. I mean, come on. I was going to say, there's a. <laughs> We have more reasons to put it top tier. Uh, excellent music. Robin Williams mm. is goaded. Mm -hmm. um, excellent twists and turns and everything is just. Carpet ride would have been a, or I can show you the world would have been a, excellent. Yeah. Tier name, but... Alas. Oh, I just can't wait to be okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> We got Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if I've seen Alice in Wonderland in its en entirety. The original. Uh -oh. Because, again, as a child, this movie scared the shit out of me and I didn't want to watch it. It was a it was a uh, it was a trip trip. You, you definitely mm. <laughs> watching this high would be like uh <laughs> I, it probably would be it, fun. But... <laughs> yeah. Listen. Listen. Guess I'm the boys. <laughs> Have a couple Eddies. That's uh, it's the ultimate bro thing to do. It's like, wh <laughs> it's what do you do with fun. your bros? Me and my bros, we, we get high and watch Alice in Wonderland <laughs> together. <laughs> Yo, the Red Queen is tripping. Yo, what the Cheshire Cat doing? <laughs> Mad Hatter, woo! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, where do we think of it as a movie, though? <laughs> I I like it. Okay. Um, I could definitely go the distance with Alice. Um, Isn't she a child? You better take that back. Nice. <laughs> We gotta stop that hey. phrase. <laughs> we are over two on that phrase. What was the one we should have used? Wait till we get to Bambi. <laughs> Brother in Christ. <laughs> good just lord. Kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I'm good with uh, second tier. I think that's a bad bit of a movie. It's Fine a, with it's that. A, it's a yeah. classic. Yeah. I'll have to rewatch it. Uh, we got next Atlantis. Oh man, I loved this movie. Hot take. This actually should have been in my top twenty-five. What am I really? Uh, what would you of my take out? Animated movies. I don't know. I have to look at my list again. But this who's is the? One of my more... Who's Sorry, the what? chick in the? Uh, what's her name? I don't know. Uh, yep. Uh, That's exactly exactly it. Michael Kida. J. Fox was Milo. Damn. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kida. Yep. There you go. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I would put this in the top tier, but I guess that's a. It's I a, it's a movie, don't know so. if it's the top tier movie. I want to say, I think I saw this once at the YMCA when my mom, like, just dropped me off as a child. And, like, she went to go do her workout. And it was just, like, that room with all, like, the, like, abandoned kids. Nice. So I don't remember sh shit about it is what I'm trying to say. Because I think I was just playing with, like, Transformers in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the most you thing I think I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, I've seen it once as well that i can remember i liked it but i just we didn't own it so we didn't see it you know what i mean 
Um, I don't know, man. I was thinking more towards the B tier, but I could be swayed to distance. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm good with distance. Well, I, mean, I can go the this. I should get that one too. Oh gosh. I mean, we might as well just have uh, audio bits for all of these. Hmm. <laughs> B. <laughs> B. We just be, have Barry B. Benson like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yes. I think we need that. All right, let's move to the next one. <laughs> All right, we got Bambi. I haven't seen Bambi in... Bambi's a classic. ...quite some time. Mm. Yeah, it's been... It's. I think I watched it last year. Bambi's sad, man. Good old thumper. Ba- yeah. Why is why is Bambi so, so what is what what was Disney what was wrong with Disney back then? You gotta teach kids the concept of death at the ripe old age of like three or four. Yeah. That way when grandma or grandpa passes away, they're like, oh, just like Bambi's mom. Yeah, I, I, again, this was a movie I didn't want to watch because it made me sad. And I was like, I don't wanna watch a fucking Bambi's mom die. It is very bold of them to just start the movie off like that, too. Yeah. There's, like, no build-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so is it like, uh, okay. Um, honestly, I mean... honestly, I just gotta say, ba- the, the story of Bambi, I don't remember. All I remember of this movie is yeah. that Thumper is in it, and then Bambi's mom dies. That's it. Yeah, I remember That's all I know. Of, like, Bambi's just, dad just like running. Bambi's like, dad? Isn't it? I think so, right? Yeah, I don't know. I As classic as it is, I feel like if none of us know the plot. <laughs> yeah. And, Maybe we just all got to have like a group watch. To get, edibles and Bambi. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's as soon as Bambi's mom dies, it's just an, Im- an immediate, like, depressive state. Just we're all sobbing. We're just like, no, <laughs> why did you do it? I knew it was coming. And it's th- just like, nah. Well, now that RFK is going to be in office and he's going to, like, legalize all the psychedelics, we'll all be tripping balls on shrooms. And it's going <laughs> to just be the worst trip of our lives. Oh, man. We're time. putting Bambi. I don't even know. B? B for Bambi? Do it. All right. I, I guess. I, I, I honestly wish I knew anything more about the Dude, plot. it's it's crazy. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to think, like, what is Bambi about? And the things that come to my mind are Bambi trying to walk, Bambi's mom mm-hmm. dying, and then Thumper, Thumper getting... Yes, Thumper gets kissed by another thing, and he goes... <laughs> I think our camera just shifted. Oh, did. God. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Beauty and the Beast. Very good. Yes. Beauty and the Beast is yeah. very good. Uh, I think it has to go to the distance. Bare minimum. Mm. That's the floor. I think it um, could even be a king. It could. It could. Mm. Um, I think Gaston just... is one of the best villains. Gustavo's a great villain. Or Gustavo. I love, the, I love the vibe of the everything of like the Beast's Castle too. Oh yeah. I it remember, is cool. I, it's almost like I don't want to say it's like gothic, but it's like uh, it almost almost reminds it, me of those gothic cores and the nineties or something. Because it has like the castle and it, like just yeah. the darkness of it. It's always storming. Mm-hmm. Uh did you guys ever like have like the CDs of like the movies for the car like where you could listen along not like the tvs in the car but you could just listen along Mm -hmm. i had that too and i just remember sitting at like bus stops and i would just listen along i had those on cassette oh cassette maybe that's what it was yeah yeah i'm good with distance distance yeah i think think distance distance. works upper upper distance distance. i think i think it's top of the distance yeah Mm. I right, can next. go to just sorry. Next um, up, we got Big Hero Six. This is Kayla's favorite 
I love Big Hero this, Six. This, this this is one of, I love Big Hero Six too. Baymax. Baymax, Baymax we should have done B for Baymax. <laughs> no, because that would imply he's mid. Oh, he's true. not mid. True, true, true. No, he's not. There you go. <laughs> or, um, or B for Bolt. I just realized Bolt these are in alphabetical order. <laughs> ah, that's why. Uh, uh, wait, why was uh, Zootopia up there? You, I don't know, but we're in alphabetical oh, order first, now because we've yeah. got B Hero Six, Bolt, Brother Bear, and then a whole bunch of C's. Oh, we're mixing them oh, okay. up. All right, let's just let's talk about Big Hero Six. Yeah. And Big Hero Six. Ow. Ow. Uh, Big Hero Six is fun. Hmm. It's got a great story. Again, bold of Disney to literally murder people. But yeah. this one, I think, is a bit better. I think because we get more time with... Mm. Um, his brother, mm -hmm. so that we can establish the relationship. I know I forget his name in the movie, but um, yeah, I do like that. Uh, and like that whole wanting revenge and having to learn to be at peace with your feelings is very good. And Baymax is just adorable too. Yes. Um, I'm good take... with. I was gonna say King. I was going to say King, too. Mm, that's two for three on King, Sam. Uh, mm, I don't know if it's King. Well, two thirds to win, so. <laughs> yeah, why did he even ask me? <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to be King. You just need a time to queue it up. <laughs> I don't need time, baby. I can just. I can just keep doing it, man. <laughs> All right. Next up, bubba bubba bolt. I like the idea of bolt more than I actually mm -hmm. like bolt. Yeah, I I I completely agree with that. I haven't seen this movie in a hot minute, so yeah, it's fine. It's just not really great, you know. I think uh, it's probably wrong lever to be honest. For me. Yeah, that's yeah, fine with me with too. I want to see. I feel like there's these movies I feel like had a stacked cast. And I'm I just want to I feel like someone notable. Here. Bolt. Bolt. Oh yeah, John Travolta played Bolt. Yeah. And Miley Cyrus was Penny and Chloe Grace Barretts was also Penny. <laughs> huh? Malcolm McDowell's in it. Nick Swart. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they had Miley Cyrus as Penny, and then Chloe Grace Moretz as Young Penny. Got it. They had Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, brother, kill that dog. Oh yeah! <coughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ, he's gonna kill himself. Here. I'm gonna throw my voice, my vocal cords out. All right, moving oh, on. Can I, hold on. Can I show you something real quick? I just remembered this, and this is going to derail things a little bit. Um, I, I brought these home from work today. I brought these home from work today. Uh, we were talking about Star Wars earlier. Look at this shit. It's the Worcester Railers mascot tracks as a Jedi. Bobblehead. Nice. And, and. Oh, shit. Um, it would have been great to bring up during our Star Wars talk. Oh, I know. Wouldn't it? I've got this guy. It's him as Harry Potter. Riding a broom. Okay, now we can move on. All right. Sorry Next. to derail that again. <laughs> Next up, Mulan. Uh, Mulan's, 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 Mulan's Fox. Mulan is fun. <laughs> yeah. Awesome Mulan's music, crazy. awesome action. What was his yeah. name? Uh, the Hun? 
the hunt. Uh, Attila the Hun. He, 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 he was. Uh, he was. Yeah, I think he scared me as a kid too. Oh yeah, like, he was creepy. He's terrifying. But I think it's yeah. I think it's king. I I'd put it at king. I'm good with that. Yeah. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Okay. Next. Next we got Brother Bear. I hmm. love Brother Bear. I hot take. Not hot take. I've just never seen it. <laughs> hot take. Never watched it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if that offends you, but I just haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, Not no, I haven't seen I it. I love it. I had the computer game, too. Oh, interesting. And I remember I never beat it because the, the last level was insanely hard. <laughs> hard as fuck. <laughs> but there was like... uh. I do remember I would always replay the salmon run level because that that was just so much fun. Just swimming up the river trying to catch as much salmon as possible as a bear. Nice. But yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just a simple man with simple pleasures, like catching salmon in the river. Bear. <laughs> Be for bear. I feel like my parents would just walk down. They're just like, oh, hey, Connor, what are you up to? I'm like, bear. They're like, all right, cool. Brother. <laughs> bear, brother. All right, where would you rank Brother Bear? Personally, I would put in at least I can go the distance. Okay. Do it. All I right. Will. Chicken Little. Chicken shit. More like. No, I'm kidding. Um, Honestly, I don't remember much about chicken little like it was never really appealed to me as a child i was not one to be like to want to go see it. it yeah but I, I i it wasn't one of the movies that i'd want to watch like on repeat I think you know it's not great it's not i think it's a little overhated but mm -hmm. it's definitely not it's not that good to mm -hmm. be honest it's like, more iconic in that chicken little is an easily identifiable character than it is actually a, a good movie. It has more one of the most iconic uh, lines. The sky is falling. So yeah, yeah. I'm good with like mid tier. I was gonna say I, wrong lever. yeah. I was gonna put it more oh, towards wrong, wrong lever. Oh, that's fine. Wrong lever. All right. Next up, we got Frozen. Pee pee poo. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to. I don't want to piss off all the the moms. Frozen's good. Frozen yeah. is good. Frozen's very good, but I when I worked at Sky Zone, which is a trampoline park, we would have like a toddler time every Friday and Sunday morning. The entire soundtrack would just play for two hours straight. Oh, you I, must have wanted to die. Yeah, you would have found me hanging in the back room. <laughs> It's like that that uh those videos of those guys at the whatever where that you can like go along this the little zip line along the the top of the yeah, thing and they're just swinging just they're just the <laughs> body's limp. Yeah. Just swing that's yeah. Connor every Friday of Sunday morning. <laughs> well that's the thing. That's why like even movies like I haven't seen, like I can hear the score and be like, Okay, I know that movie. Mm -hmm. I've heard it seventeen hundred times. Nice. Um, no, Frozen is very good, though. Is it yeah. King? I think Frozen 1 might be King, just for its its impact, culturally. Yeah, actually, it, did, it was pretty big when it came out. Mm. Oh, yeah. I got people to stop looking up if uh, Walt Disney froze his head. Yeah. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Doesn't get old. All right, moving on. We got Dinosaur. Man, I got memories of Dinosaur. Has I, either of you I seen it? Have yeah. I have, I have memories. This was a... I have memories. This movie VHS made me time. sad. I, I don't remember jack shit about this movie. Except for it made me sad at one point. Hayden Pentier is in it? What the hell? Um, it's just 
a cool movie. I don't know. I just like it. I think it's. I can go the distance at least. Yeah, Whoa. I think that's good. I'm good with that too. I, I that's a memories, man. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Sue me. <laughs> man, sue me. Oh. <laughs> uh, and right. I think we have our first pee pee poop. Have you guys seen Wish? No. Yeah. Next up is Wish. But I have. No interest in seeing it. Wish is awful. Like, truly, in every sense of the word, terrible. I'm just going to pull up real quick. Let me just pull up the website. I reviewed this hunk of garbage. Listen, Let me see what never, I gave it. It's never a good thing when, like, the movie hasn't came out yet and everyone already knows how bad the music's going to be for a Disney movie. Yeah, it's not good. I gave it a two star, which is yeah, actually higher than I thought. Let's see. What did I like about it? Oh, wow. The biggest probably of many. The Oh, sorry. The biggest problem of many that I had with Wish is that the story is really immensely boring. <laughs> nice. The film is only one hour and 34 minutes long, and yet I found myself wishing it to be over. <laughs> the plot is lackluster, moves way too fast, and feels uninspired. Instead, Wish is clearly a promotion for Disney's 100th anniversary between half-baked references to other Disney characters, and a clear message around the company's When You Wish Upon a Star theme feels like one big multi-million dollar marketing campaign. <laughs> Yikes! Nice. I'll tell you where Phil, Aaron. It doesn't help that the resolution to the story is one of the worst things I've seen from Disney in a long time. <laughs> Jeez. I put that on us on its own line. It's one sentence. I put it on its own paragraph. <laughs> Damn. I was looking at some reviews on Letterboxd and they're they're pretty funny. Like top, one of the top ones. Wish they hadn't. Yeah. Uh, what's weird about the music is that they're simultaneously bops that you can dance with and also the cringiest songs you've ever heard. <laughs> Yikes. You aged like 20 years with that one sentence. Yeah. <laughs> bops that you can dance with. There's some bops you kids can dance with. I did like the animation style, though, apparently. Or the innovation of the animation style. <laughs> okay, I don't really... Well, maybe not. What really stood out about Wish, is, though, is the animation style. While I personally didn't enjoy the blend of 3D models and 2D sets slash backdrops, I can appreciate the innovation, uniqueness, and work that went into it. For me, it just reminded me too much of old-school Barbie movies that I used to watch with my sister. <laughs> Oof. Yikes. You don't want to be compared to those ones. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Dumbo. Dumbo. All right. It's all right. It's all right. It's like a, a hilarious <laughs> name for a movie. Look at Dumbo over here. <laughs> Hey, look at fucking Dumbo over here. <laughs> hey, where are we going to put uh, uh, fucking Dumbo here? I'm good with B. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great, you know? Not bad, yeah. I feel like it definitely, it, of all the movies, it's probably aged the worst. Probably, too. honestly. I have no interest in seeing it and watching it again. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I mean, and... When they tried to make the the live action uh, movie too, which why, uh, Tim Burton wanted to kill himself. Oh, I bet. So, t do with that what you will. Next up, we got Encanto. Encanto's good. Yeah, I look. It's I don't. Good. I actually don't mind. I don't like his Canto and words. Start over. Um, I. Look, I don't really like his cut. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked it up again. <laughs> Jeez. Take All three. Right, take, take, take five. <laughs> I don't 
really like Encanto as much as many people. I mean, it's just kind of, eh. I mean, the songs are fun, but like, yeah. I don't know, man. It's it's fine. No, I th I really like it. I think it's um, I think it has a good family um themes in it too. So, um, yeah. yeah I mean, it, yeah. It's just like it's not their best work. It feels it, and honestly it feels too much like they were trying to to do a Pixar, you know what I mean? Interesting. Like I honestly thought this was a Pixar movie. Like you think they're trying to do like a Coco type? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I I I still really like it. I I could put it in distance, but that's my opinion. I look, Connor. Have you seen Encanto? Nope. I've YouTube. seen it. I've seen it once. So See, that's the problem. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll, I I don't uh, I don't know. I was gonna say B for Bambi. But you if flip a coin, if you think it's distant, here I got I got something we can flip. Flip the right. flip the bobblehead. I guess it, we can flip too. Nice. <laughs> if it lands Ew. on if it lands on <laughs> Blood Hunter, it is going in. I can go the distance. If it's blank, it's going in B for Bambi. Oh Jesus! <laughs> he made fun of me for how I flip <laughs> coins. By the way, I just like <laughs> launched that thing to the ceiling, and it landed on Blood Hunter. So it's I can go the distance. <laughs> Let's there go, you go Sam. <laughs> Damn. Well, Even this is I very had... light, so I flicked it like I was flicking a coin, and it just like rocketed to the ceiling. You took so many L's on Encanto. <laughs> <laughs> From start to finish. I just know. need That's to take a step headed. back. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping right. Beauty is next. <laughs> I like Sleeping Beauty. Another classic. I, yeah. I think it's one of the uh, like an underrated one. Is yeah. it is it better than Bambi? Uh, I think it's better than Bambi, but on the same level. Because, like the uh, inevitably, I always end up comparing Sleeping Beauty to uh, Snow White for me. They're just so yes. similar, and, and Snow, Snow White, White clears it's definitely better. Oh, it clears. So that's uh, I mean, B for Bambi, I think, I think is where I sit. Yeah, high, high. I would I would do high. Yeah, tier B. I would say high B. Okay. Okay, we got Fantasia next. I'm not seeing it, so I'm wiping my hands of this one. All right, I guess Damn. it's up to me. Um, it's good. It's kind of a classic, so it, it, it's good. Um, I have really no interest in seeing it again. Oh, <laughs> I would be fine with putting it in B. Okay, B it is. Ready. He has spoken. Next up, we got Hercules himself, Hercules. Herc. Herc. Um, I can go the Very distance. Good. I'm good with that. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, think it's I just ceremonious for, for his own movie. Very good. Uh, music is insanely good, too. Yeah. Disney's run in the 90s of these musical oh, yeah. animated movies is like unprecedented. They're all Great. absolute bangers. Mm -hmm. Just another one that was like perfectly cast, too. Mm -hmm. and I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't even know who was Hercules, but just every every surrounding character was just awesome. Like Let's see. Danny DeVito. Hercules. Roger Bart was Hercules. All right. He's known for Hercules and Hostel Part 2. Well, or Tate Donovan, who played the majority of Hercules. And Danny DeVito, of course. Yeah. Or as Wayne Johnson, who played Hercules. No. Or Ryan Gosling, who played young Hercules. Mm. A lot All of right. Hercules movies. <laughs> All right, we got Lilo and Stitch up next. I don't. Oh, that's great. 
my my memory i like leo and stitch i'm not i don't like it as much as a lot of people uh it's just one of those things i never really got into but i do yeah, remember I, playing I the computer game of lilo and stitch as a child no, i i can agree with that with how it's not i i didn't like it as much. some people think this is like one of the best movies of ever i think know? i like the tv show more mm, yes Ooh, you know what TV that's what show. it is yeah, i remember yeah, the tv yeah. show more than i remember the movie I, but yeah. I think the it, movie i think it was just because like Maybe I never I watched the movie second and I started watching the TV show first just because back then, mm. like, if you didn't have the movie, you weren't going to see the movie. We didn't have streaming back then for yep. you youngins now. Yep. Um, so for the movie, I'm like, you guys want to put a B? Sure. Yeah, I'm good with that. Because the movie, I think, is still like, it's a, it's a very That's not B. Movie. Sorry. Uh, it's a very solid movie, um, but I thought the show just was... The show clears, yeah. Yeah, mm. it just really fleshed everything out. All right, next Wait, up, Moana. Mo- Mona, what? I see what's happening here. <laughs> if only uh, we reviewed this movie. And mm. Yeah, if only. On it. if only. If only. If only we... Oh, Fudge monkey, I went to the wrong tab. Hold on. If only, Jesus, yeah. If I... only we didn't score it at uh, an overall score of a four. So you know what that is. Yeah, how would that translate here? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Since there's five tiers. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, that's that's where I was going with that. So sometimes I need things spelled out a bit more. Wait, yeah, were you actually like, confused? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Just need I, to explain it. Sam and I were on the board here uh, on the same page, and Connor's like, "Where's the well, page?" Be- well. Just because our cumulative score was a four doesn't mean like our individual scores were. It's true. Fours. I gave it a three and a half. Connor gave it a four and a half. And Sam exactly. was right in the middle at a four. <laughs> Thought we could have a little discussion. I no. mean, Moana's good. I, it's it's I got Moana the rock. Very good. It does have the rock. It does take it down a bit. I'm going with high, t- high, you know, high tier distance, you know. <laughs> Nothing with Dwayne Johnson can be in King. (laughs) (laughs) He must lose. (laughs) What could I say? He was in Scorpion King. He did lose. He was in Black Adam. (laughs) He lost. He's in Red One. It's going to lose. Or Baywatch. Our our fourth worst movie that we've ranked on the podcast. (laughs) All right. Next up. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. I love Hook. I mean, Hook is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. The original Peter Pan, though, I could, I could take it or leave it. Really? I will say, this, that just reminded me, too. I forget what it was, but because we talked about Hook so much on this podcast, it did help me win a trivia round. Really? Uh, at a bar. Yeah. It was something about... Who played Tinkerbell in Hook? Oh, it was um, Garner, right? Jennifer Garner? No, no. Who no. was it? No, Julia Roberts. There it is. That's the yes. one. Yes, it was something like oh, um, she played yeah Julia Roberts. She played Hook, or she played Tinkerbell in Hook, and also this in another movie. I was like Julia Roberts. Hmm. So thank you guys for that. Still You're welcome. Not a Have big you... fan of Hook. Oh man, um, we got to review Peter Hook. Pan... Did we review Hook? We did not. We got to review Hook. Do you, you want your heart broken, Connor? I swear <laughs> to fucking God, if it's less than a four and a half, I will. I will cry. <laughs> well, get the fucking tissues ready. <laughs> Peter Pan. Um, I'm good with distance. I, I want distance, but I have more memories of playing the PlayStation One game of Peter Pan than I do playing 
or than I do playing the movie. <laughs> I do like. I do like the movie more than any other adaption I've seen. I'm good with distance. I'll go with but... distance too. Uh, okay. You know what I just remember? They're making a, one of the fucking monster movies about Peter Pan. Oh, no. <laughs> pee pee poo poo. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Pocahontas. I haven't watched this movie in a while. <sighs> I've never seen Pocahontas. Oh, boy. I don't, remember, I don't remember much from it, but from what I do, it was. It, I think it probably mid is where it's gonna where it should land. Yeah, B tier sounds fine. Good with me. All right, next All right. up we got Strange World. This yeah, is not it. good. Uh, again, another that? movie that I reviewed. Um, let's see. Let's go to the website. See what I said about it. Um, I don't. I know it wasn't. I didn't find it very good. The problem with with um, Strange World is that like y- you finish watching it and then completely forget it. There's nothing memorable about Strange World. Mm. I gave it a three. I gave it a three, and I don't remember shit about it. Where would you put it? <sighs> Probably. It's a fine movie. Um, sounds like wrong lever. It sounds like wrong right. Lever. It's just so not. It, it's just so, so immemorable. Forgettable. So forgettable. Yeah, go with wrong lever. Yeah, it seems better than wish. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up, we got Grace, the Great Mouse Detective. This is a cute movie. I I liked it. I, I I mean, it's been a while since I see, saw it, but um, I liked it. I'm good with B tier with this one. I don't know if either one of you have seen it. Nope. All right. I guess it's just not for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's 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 pretty. It's not great, but it's not terrible. You know. Sounds pretty mid to me. All right. Pinocchio. The live action with Tom Hanks. <laughs> man. Man, oh man. <laughs> um no, Pinocchio is, is pretty good. It is very good. The problem uh, is Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is in Clears. I think it's so good. Like one, yeah. So much better. Mm. Um Trying to take that out of it is hard, but I'm like I still think it's good. And Bambi, is it? Well, think let's think of it this way: Is it better than Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, I say yes. Yeah, I'd say yes. So then I say it's distance. Yeah. I I gotta be honest. Emily just gave me a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> Did not realize she was there. I thought she's was here. Just, she just broke into your. Uh, I'm good. I'm good with that. I, I'm yep. good with that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Before we move to 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 that one, let's do Raya and the Last Dragon because you've seen Raya, correct? Yeah. We're calling in an expert to because none of us back. have seen Raya and the Last Dragon. I haven't seen it for like a little of over a year. That's well, we've never seen it, so you've beaten us by one. Um, I would probably give it a. Can I see your categories, please? I probably would give it B. For Bambi. B for Bambi, like mid tier. Yeah, it had a good story and stuff, but um, no diss to Aquafina, but it's she's a little much, and I feel like she doesn't really fit into the movie, and so it's a little awkward. And the whole dad, I believe the dad dies, but then he comes back to life or something like that, which doesn't really make the whole. I could honestly, your viewers or your listeners could be listening to this and be like, that's not the fucking story. <laughs> but I do know Aquafina is in it. That wasn't great. Mm. So I would give it a B for Bambi. 
I will accept wrong lever cronk. Yes. Um, all right. That works. Uh, yes. Now I think it's only fair for us to talk about Tangled. <laughs> Tangled, Tangled. I have I have a very complicated relationship with Tangled. Why? Go ahead. Can I see your tier list? Go, oh, um, scroll up. I just can't wait to be king. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Oh, I just can't wait you can't hear it. We're playing the song. Tangled is the best. Give me fifteen of them. You know that TikTok that TikTok video. It's just the best. And if you don't put it at top tier, I will. Slip my wrist. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You, um, heard from the, you heard it from the pro. <laughs> yeah, from the, from the expert. No, Tangled rocks. Hmm. What are, What are you talking about? It's It's there. Yeah. You can tell it her it's there. Like Sixteen lines. Hey, man. I. All right. I I just gotta say though, I have a very complicated relationship with Tangled because it is a oh. good movie. Nice. <laughs> now that she's gone. But I, man, Zachary Levi. No, we can uh, just ignore him. That man sucks. <laughs> he does suck. He is a fucking loser. Oh, go watch my movie. Oh. Hey, what if if they made a live action one? What if I was you know playing Finn? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, I just love that, you know, he's he's just gone full. Like, he had one movie that did bad, and he's just fully like, I'm done in Hollywood. I'm going to live with Trump. One might be a, an understatement. It's been, <laughs> it's been pretty downhill for a stretch. Oh, man. And, and also, just the fact that he was a headliner on a washed-up celebrity cruise just makes my day. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's Aside move on. Aside from that, Tangled is awesome. I Tangled, Tangled is good. So Tangled is good. All right. Next up, we got Robin Hood. I don't really know much about Robin Hood. I I like Robin Hood. I do too. Robin Hood's good. This is another one I watched at the YMCA. The, this mm, time I did watch. Good. I I I'm good with distance. I think that's a good place for it. Listen, it, it teaches you a good lesson. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. Mm. Eat the rich, feed the poor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we got Snow White. Snow White's and very good. Yeah, Snow White's we good. teased it. Um, how good in our tier, though? I mean, it's obviously, it's at least distance, but I don't know. Is it? Is it? Is it the classic that gets up into, um, up into the uh, the top tier? I think um, what, there's one princess that makes it up there, and it's either her or the other one. I don't know if I should say it now or wait until where it's her turn. What's the surprise? Okay, it's either her or Cinderella. Yeah, like what's the it's like? Whoa, what Cinderella's on this list? <laughs> pausing for dramatic effect <laughs> we gotta keep the listener in suspense um i i would watch cinderella movie. over this movie over snow interesting white. interesting i think, See, I, I, think I would i, I would watch snow, snow white. white really the set are you kidding me the seven dwarves i think you wouldn't want I'd... seven little men hanging around no <laughs> <laughs> Easy no. <laughs> um so you want seven about people in top here, tier? <laughs> I think I think Snow White goes top tier. Mm. Okay. Okay, I can concede with that. And then I think Cinderella goes tier below. Hey. We are so going to get copyright strike on YouTube. <laughs> I would put Cinderella in top tier too, but that was just me. Mm. No, I don't I don't think it's as good. I don't remember hardly anything from Cinderella. I don't remember don't... how how does the evil step queen or step 
mother get her comeuppance. Yeah, it, how how does movie end? <laughs> it, well, doesn't her carriage turn into a pumpkin? Well, yes. Her her pumpkin turns into a carriage, or something, or vice versa. Yeah. I I I'm good with second tier distance. So. All right, next up, Black Cauldron. Good. Damn. I, I, I like this one. Oh, you guys haven't seen it, right? Nope. I've, I've seen bits and pieces that I just don't I've know. never even heard of it. Of it. Um, I, I just, I, I may be a little biased because I love, I like the medieval um, um, vibe, I guess. Um, I would put it in distance tier. Interesting. Really? Yeah, I would. I would definitely recommend going. This Is way. it as good as Cinderella? I don't know. Or Encanto I don't know. or Hercules? Honestly, I think they all are pretty much the same. That's why I put it in that tier. I think I would. I would put it up with all of them. Okay. Next, we've got Tarzan. I'll tell you what, I'm not a I'm not big on I'll Tarzan. I'll tell you what, I'm not big on Tarzan. Um, but this there's two movies that mm -hmm. have like mega superstars that did music for them in the in this era in the '90s, and you'll be in my heart. From by Phil Collins is an all time song. You'll be, mm -hmm. You'll be in my heart. It's it's goaded. Yeah. That said, Tarzan, I think it's on the same level as Bambi and Sleeping Beauty. See, I have to disagree with you there. I think it's a uh, tier above. I'm gonna say on this one. I do think okay. Tarzan is definitely a tier above. Okay, okay, I'm good with that. Next, we got the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I've uh, never seen it. So, and if I did, it was a long time ago. <laughs> so, this this was like a little two parter, little an horror anthology that they did. Um, I don't know the the Mr. Toad part. I very fondly remember the the Ichabod Crane story because that was Sleepy Hollow for kids. With yes. the Headless Horseman. That rocked. That was like a little, little bit traumatizing as a as a young boy watching that. Because he, he gets his head cut off. Um, mm. uh, I would say B because I didn't see half of it. I don't know what happens with Mr. Toad, so it's not unfair to put it any <laughs> higher. I don't know. I think that that automatically drops it down below, though. No, because this, the Ichabod segment is strong enough. Okay. In my eyes. I haven't seen it, so. I think calling it mid for how good the one segment it is is a fair enough compromise. All right, next up, we got one of Sam's favorites, the Aristocats. Oh, this is top tier. I've not seen no it, question. so everybody wants to be a cat. This is top tier. <laughs> it's not top tier. I hate to say it. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> what would you put it at? Hash it out, guys. I can go the distance. I can concede that. As much as I I got a coin. <laughs> I got a coin. Live by the di coin, die by the coin. All right, heads is king, t tails is distance. Oh, heads again. You can't see that. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, love wins. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Yo, as three people with cats. We should all be in a green tier. Mm. I've not seen it, so I, I am out of that one. You should see it. Mm. Yeah. 
All right, next up, we got The Emperor's New Groove. Goated. Goated. Emperor's New Groove is one of the best movies so fucking ever. funny. It's so good. Um, yeah. Wrong Top lever. tier. It just, it's just wrong. I mean, it has to be wrong <laughs> lever, but... Um, <laughs> it's gotta be wrong lever. I quit. <laughs> no! Um, <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> Now, we got the fox and the hounds. I've again, I haven't seen it. I I missed out on a lot of this era of Disney. I'm realizing. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't. We didn't have the 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 VHSs or the DVDs, so I never watched them. I think I have this somewhere. I haven't oh. seen it in a while, but from what I remember, it, it was pretty good. Was it sad? Right? It, oh my god! Heartbreaking. Okay. okay, that's what I thought it was because <laughs> devastating. Yeah, yeah what? That's you what can't I remember. watch this movie without balling. Yeah, that's what I thought. It, like, I wasn't sure if that was this one or another movie I was thinking about, but okay. No, th this is top tier for me. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, mm. This is one of my favorite movies of Disney's ever. Like, I still can't watch. Uh, I forget the lady's name, but when she has to give up the fox, bawling, yeah, inconsolable. Um, I wouldn't put it top tier. Oh, uh, I'm gonna fight on that one. It is. <laughs> I've got a it's... coin. <laughs> I don't like. Okay, you. Want... Hey, it's odds... been two times. Odd... That it's odds are in my king. favor. <laughs> odds odds heads, are in my favor. heads, king, tails, distance. <laughs> Watch me. Oh, it landed on top of my foam. Hold on. Listen. His heads. Oh, there we go. Three for three for heads. The coin wins. You know it's what? heads. Executive decision. Wait, wait. What'd you say? It's heads. For king? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Three for three for heads. He was I mean, about it. He was about was to gonna, sign an executive order. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna put it kings regardless. I, I was gonna be on. This is gonna be a tyranny on my no longer. Three in a row. Yeah, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Gotta watch this in uh, French class or. I think this one's. <laughs> There's up. no way you had to watch this in French class. What did the teacher be like? Yeah, Notre Dame, French, right? Watch it. <laughs> Hold on. No, we did have to watch in one of our language classes. Why? I I, it's I, in I, English. I, what our teacher got pregnant, and they were just like, "Ah, we can't. <laughs> we the substitute doesn't speak French." <laughs> We got it. <laughs> they just they pulled the student teacher in from down the hall. They're like, um, I think this movie slept on. Actually, I haven't seen it. You haven't definitely seen slept this? On. No, I haven't. I think it's high tier B, to be honest. Right with Sleeping yeah. Beauty. Yeah, I would. I would put it right there. But again, your opinion, Connor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say high tier B. There we go. Whew. Jungle right. Book. Next, next up, Jungle Book. Good. Pretty good. I don't remember much Pretty of good. it though. Yeah, I don't either, to be honest. But it's also because I haven't seen it in a very, very long time. Uh, but I do remember the music slaps. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, you see those videos of like the um, it's used like the same animation for Jungle Book and Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's kind of cool. like how, like how Family Guy kind of just uses the same like yeah. five base animations for all their characters. Mm hmm. Um. I think it was good. I would put it in distance. I think so too. Yeah, that's good for me. I feel like the live action one wasn't bad either. Didn't watch it, so I couldn't I tell you. I think I saw it. I feel like it was one of the one the very few live action remakes they made that actually wasn't actually bad. Hmm. 
Like that, Beauty and the Beast, I don't think was bad. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast wasn't that bad. Aladdin was all right, but those are the only ones I watched. Anywho, Frozen 2. Uh, I think this one's really easy. It's not as good as Frozen 1, but it's not average. It's still good. There you go. Distance. It. It's it's good. It's not as good as the first, but it's definitely, you know, a step. Yeah. It's it's I would say it's one step down. It's not two steps down. Yeah. I get that. Next mm. up we got Lady and the Tramp. I like Lady and the Tramp. I do too. I'll leave this up to you guys. I have not seen it. What? I know. I know. Can you believe it? What? I told you this era of Disney, I didn't watch a ton of because we didn't have the DVDs or the VHS. We just didn't have it, so I didn't see it. I'm, I was. Good. That is very much like the haves and have-nots of like the the early aughts. Just like, mm. oh, do you have which Disney VHS do you have? Yeah, I mean, I had other ones like you know Little Mermaid and and, and you know Aladdin and Hercules and Mulan. I had those. But I didn't have Lady and the Tramp. I didn't have Hunchback. I didn't, you know. I'm inclined to put this in. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. You go, you go. I was gonna say, I'm, I would put this in high tier distance, like next to Moana. Really? It's fine with me. I think it's that good too. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I was going to say, I feel like back when Disney, uh, Disney Plus was first announced, it was awesome. That mm. you could just have access to all these movies. Yeah. And then it just kind of everything just went to shit with streaming. Yeah. Uh, but anywho. Next up we got the king himself, the Lion King. I mean, it, it is kind of goaded. Lion King is goaded. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel the that's such a good song. Elton John. This was the other one I was talking about having some, like mega superstar music musicians actually mm -hmm. write songs for your movie when you get phil collins or elton john to write a song for your movie it's gonna be good who aaron. played simba aaron we're waiting oh all right let me just oh i just can't wait to be king you, rock... you, you don't have to wait anymore on the on the one movie this is <laughs> I didn't know we were done talking about it. <laughs> well, I was going to say, because I was looking up who played Simba. It's Matthew Broderick. So that's it's a good mm. name, especially in the 90s. It's uh, it's also Broderick. I say Broderick. When you star in like that piece of shit Godzilla movie, I can call you whatever I want. Hey, man, he was also in Glory. He was really good in Glory. Yeah, he was also in Ferris Bueller. I don't know why you wouldn't there first because <laughs> i think of glory you think of glory first before ferris bueller's there not on. no i don't i i don't okay. but like okay. i do at the same time because like <laughs> you say you watch hunchback and notre dame in french class we watched glory <laughs> was one yeah, of the no. movies i in french class <laughs> not in french class i did not in french class <laughs> not in french class <laughs> In history. <laughs> no, we had to watch it too in history. Good movie. Well, let's move on. Let's move on? Yeah. Keep con and right. move on. Winnie the pun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Little Mermaid. This no is going mermaid. off the rails. <laughs> no Mermaid. Good. 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 good go in the distance i I, re I actually recently watched that one i think last year and i forgot i, I didn't realize like she has like no lines because she ca i forgot she, can't, she can't talk she for most talk of it can't talk. Yeah. yeah i'm like oh okay <laughs> um i'm good with distance on that one Bob right there i don't even know where it went um next up i'm just gonna lump the two winnie the pooh movies together because mm. honestly i can't remember the difference between the two i didn't know there were I, two of them yeah, I mean, I've I, definitely seen one of them, but... I used to watch uh, Winnie the Pooh movies when I was younger, when I got sick, because yeah. it was, like, a very comforting movie to watch. Mm -hmm. um, the one 
I don't know, I forget what is I think it's the 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 one that was focused on Tigger. Um and him wanting oh the Tigger movie. Mm. That was my favorite of the bunch. Mm-hmm. Um of him wanting to find other tigers like him. Yeah. Heartbreaking, but that's not on here. Um <laughs> I'm good with mid for this one. Yeah. Cuz I can't really tell the difference between them. Yeah. Would you bump Maybe it though. down to wrong lever? No. No. Probably. No. I this I, I can't. A, it's a really co- good comfort movie. Okay. Did you watch uh, Christopher Robin? <laughs> no. Hey, I I, I do wouldn't... want to though. Yeah, that's on my list. All right, next up we got the princess and the frog. Uh, goaded. This song's th- this song, whatever. I'll goated? see myself out. Princess and the Frog is amazing. Are you kidding me? I, I love don't think Princess it's and the Frog. I think it's great, but I, I, I mean, I would put it in distance. But get the coin. Is this Gunner, is another? Have you not seen this. No, this is this is the other movie that always played during toddler time. So I know the songs. Never oh. saw the movie because I oh, the songs dude, are just so, so stuck good. in my head. It's toddler so good. Time. All right, Get ready? Heads distance wait. or he- heads king, oh, tails distance. No, wait, four for four. Oh my god, it went in a box. Jesus Christ! Catch it oh. next time. It's, it's tails. Thin. It's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of bullshit. It, it probably is top tier. Um, Great top villain. The distance tier. All right. Next up, we got the sword and the stone. Haven't seen it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, too. It was one of those ones where it's... You got it's the fine. very iconic moment of the sword being yeah. the stone. Inspires so much, I assume, at the park that i um, never been to. Yeah, it's fine. I would put it in mid B. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we got Meet the Robinsons. I know nothing about this movie. I don't know if it's good or not. I remember seeing so many trailers when I was yes. a kid. Yes. Honestly, do, do yes. you remember that too? I saw so many trailers. Like, it's always on TV or something like that. Yes. I remember seeing the trailers for this movie all the time and then never, never watched it. it. <laughs> I think I... I have seen it. It's cute. It has nice moments. Didn't love it. Mm. Is it, it, it is it wrong it's lever? It. Really? I no. I mean I think purely for the fact that Sam and I both remember how annoying the commercials were. We oh we can put gosh. it in wrong lever. That's fine with me. Yeah. Uh next this up, one though. Treasure- Treasure Planet. Treasure Beep Planet Beep is... Sh- you shut your fucking Beep mouth. Beep it is. Flip a All coin. Right, next flip up. a coin, Aaron. Shut flip your whore, shut your whore <laughs> mouth. Oh, look at that. It's king. Wow. Look at that. You didn't call it before you flipped. Do, do it again. Okay. Heads is king. Tails is, is pee-pee yeah. poop. Oh, look at that. King. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I That's fine. I had, oh, look at that. It actually did land on king. That's fine. I'm good. No... Treasure Planet is just, it's, I mean, it's in my top 25. It's one of the best uh, Disney movies ever. It's so good. I have to watch it again. I haven't seen it in a long time. Mm. I gotta watch it too. All right. And finally, to finish this out, we've got where we started pretty much Wreck It Ralph. (laughs) It is exactly. We started with Ralph breaks the internet, and we end it with Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. The ending is our beginning. I like. I like like Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. I do too. I do too. Uh, I'd say it's. We can go the distance. Yeah. We can go the distance. Oh fuck! (laughs) All right. I forgot it for Treasure Planet. All right. Then distance. All right. Top heavy. <laughs> no well, look, I mean, Disney animated movies made a they made a lot of good movies. Oh yeah. Now, if we had all of the this direct to DVD sequels on here, 
that pee pee poo poo tier would be well fleshed out. <laughs> yeah. Or the live actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like the original animated movies for a lot of these were actually quite good. I mean, there's a reason why Disney's been around for decades. <sighs> Almost a hundred years. What? Past Eighty years? years right? Disney. Didn't they just have the hundred year? Oh yeah, no, they had the fifty, right? That was no. The was wish that... was the hundred year, right? I thought. Uh, I don't remember. Wish. I'm. I put wish out of my my brain. Um, Disney, Wikipedia. Uh, nineteen twenty three. Hundred years. Yep, you're right. stupid um all right well that is uh that is that so that is um our tier list we'll post this online somewhere you can see it but uh that is all of the movies um there's like what 60 of them so we we, we did a lot and yeah. so if you like what you listen to, leave a rating, subscribe, follow us on your favorite podcast platform, and share it with your friends. Do all that fun stuff. It helps us out immensely. Um, you can go to our website at uh, the fir uh, it's at it's www.firstpicturehouse.com for new reviews and articles and stuff like that that we're writing. Um, also, uh, follow us on socials. We're on Twitter. Uh, but we're also on TikTok. Uh, I'm doing a lot of content on TikTok that you can check out. Uh, I'm doing, you know, we're we've, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, uh, we're now on Blue Sky as well. If you're if you're on Blue Sky, you know, you're abandoning Twitter. We are there already. Connor and I have our own accounts and also a Filmbox account, so you can follow us on there. Um, and then, um. Follow our Letterbox profiles. You can see what we're watching when we're watching it. You don't have to, you know. You don't have to wait till each episode to know what to be in the loop, basically. And you can follow us on Twitch. We don't stream all that often, but we're planning something, maybe like a recurring Twitch stream of some sort of story game. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And finally, I'm starting up a uh, a beehive uh, a newsletter. Um, like maybe like a weekly or biweekly just musings on the film industry um, that I think we'll all, you know, take some sort of part in. So uh, be on the lookout for, for that as well. I will be posting that around, uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Connor, do you have stickies? What? Does he have what? <laughs> do you have stickies? What? <laughs> Sticky I note. did not hear stickies. <laughs> I did not hear that either. <laughs> what did you say? What did you think I said? Dickies. Did it, yeah, I heard dickies. <laughs> yeah. No, I said I said <laughs> stickies. Run it back. Run it back. All right. <laughs> Headphones on. <laughs> Booth review. Flag on the play. Well, do you have dickies? <laughs> well, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> all right, Sam, well, pick yes. two numbers. Oh. Uh, you're in time out, Aaron. Three. <laughs> okay. And nine. All right. I will be watching God's Own Country and Manchester by the Sea. Oh. All right. Mm hmm. Cool. Sick. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on the Film Box Podcast. See you later. Yeah.